So for um, number 23, they want us to check if the sequence here, um, if it converges or diverges. And now remember that um, AN converges, converges if um, AN tends to a limit as N tends to infinity. So we basically um, have to see if the limit exists here. So a n is going to be equal to 1 minus 0 0.2 to the power of n. Um, and so we're just going to break this down into two parts. So we have that um, limit as n approaches infinity of a n is, uh, is equal to 1, because there's uh, this 1 doesn't change, right? It's just 1, minus the limit as n approaches infinity of 0 0.2 to the power of n. And now 0 0.2 to the power of n, um, this is a geometric, this is a geometric sequence, right? Where a geometric se sequence is described by some, um, some ratio to the power of n. And now we can see here that the ratio is equal to 0 0.2, right? And 0 .0 0 0.2 is definitely less than 1 and is bigger than negative 1. And so when we have that um, that r lies between 1 and negative 1, what is going to happen is uh, as, we, as we raise it to infinity, so we're going to go 0 0.2 times 0 0.2 times 0 0.2 and so on. And so because we're multiplying by a number that... Um, whose absolute value is less than 1, is like that number is constantly getting smaller. So 0.2 times 0.2 times 0.2 um, will give you a very small number. So uh, from here we can say that um, the absolute value of 0 0.2 is less than 1, therefore, therefore uh, lim the limit as n approaches infinity of 0 0.2 to the power of n is equal to 0. So limit um, as n approaches infinity of a n is equal to 1 minus, this limit is 0, right? 1 minus 0, which is equal to 1. Um, and so the limit exists, and therefore a n converges. Converges. And we are done.